it comes with some additional presser feet, so let's see how you change the foot. Hold the foot and pull forward to slip it off the presser foot holder. Take the foot that you want to attach and line up the presser foot pin with the opening on the presser foot holder and just push it into place. From time to time, you're gonna to wanna to change your needle. For example, for the different types of fabrics you sew. For example, this is a stretchy jersey fabric. This is a sweatshirt fleece. In cases of stretch fabric, you're gonna to wanna to use a ballpoint needle. And they come in various sizes, whether you have lightweight, medium, or heavyweight stretch fabric. For non-stretch fabrics like wool, quilting cotton, silk, linen, those kinds of fabrics, rayon, you're going to want to use a regular point needle. They also come in various sizes depending on if you're sewing light, medium, or heavyweight, non-stretch, or woven fabric. There are heavy-duty needles available as well. Some are designed for sewing denim, some for canvas, and some even for leather or vinyl. To change the needle, first raise the presser foot lifter and you'll probably find it's even easier if you, just, if you just simply remove the foot. And here's a quick little tip. Try placing a piece of paper over the needle plate so that you don't accidentally drop the needle into the machine when you, when you loosen the screw. Your machine comes with this L-shaped screwdriver that you can use to turn the screw toward you as you lightly hold the needle, turn the screw, and drop the needle out of the machine and discard it. Take your new needle, place it into the needle clamp, then use your screwdriver to tighten the needle clamp screw again. Remove the paper, and then put the foot back on the machine. For more information about the right needle for your project, refer to your instruction manual that's available online on the Singer website.